What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung at their developer conference yesterday finally showcased their foldable smartphone that has been rumored for ages. The foldable display was shown as a part of an engineering prototype in case you're thinking that the actual device would be that chunky. Justin Dennison assured attendees at the conference that what he was showing off isn't the final foldable smartphone. The design has been obscured because Samsung doesn't want to reveal it at this point in time. Of course, that said, I'm really surprised how many people are already hating on this device. What makes me cringe are all those complaints about the physical appearance of the device that was shown on the conference. Do people really know what prototype is? The point was not to show the device itself, that's why it was well hidden by just turning off the lights. But Samsung's capabilities to produce such displays and their overall contribution in flexible display technology. But people have spoken, complaining about the device, not seeing the actual pursuit for the future. People are complaining that it's not practical. How in the world it's not practical? I really don't get it. I agree this one is not practical, but this one? It's small enough to fit in your hand, quickly folds and unfolds, and the software looks clean. What else do you want? People complain about phones looking similar and unoriginal, then complain about unique phones being impractical. Some dude even complaining that it lags too much after closing. Really? It doesn't take a genius to know that you need to press the button again to turn on the screen. Also some people are complaining that the outer display is too small. Look, the outer screen is just for texting, taking photos and things like that. Why people think they need a bigger screen on the outside when you have a gigantic 7.5-inch screen on the inside? The idea here is to be using the smaller screen for daily communication and the larger one for media consumptions like YouTube, Netflix, games, all that stuff. We all want big screens but we don't want a bigger phone and this foldable phone is the answer for that. Why do you think companies are reducing bezels so that we can get the maximum screen area in the smallest form factor possible? The whole point of having a high screen to body ratio which every phone company is striving for is so that you can have more screen in a smaller device. Why are these people are looking at it like a tablet instead of looking at it as a phone that has a huge display? This prototype makes a lot of sense. I mean, why wouldn't you want a phone with a bigger screen while maintaining a similar or same form factor as a smaller phone in the future? Some people want small phone that is easy to hold. Some people want big phone with more display which is pocketable. Samsung came out and showed a phone that solved both problems by having small form factor with display bigger than most tablet phones. Yet people complain for no freaking reason. We'll never understand people that hate on innovation. The Galaxy Note Edge, very cool at launch but wasn't perfect by any means and it paved the way for the future. This foldable phone is just a prototype, it's not even a finished product yet and people are already hating on this device saying they don't need foldable phones. These are the same type of people that said that they don't need a horseless carriage. When a bunch of people were building the first car, people said to them that they're crazy if they think this full contraption they've been wasting their time on will ever displace the horse. And boy they couldn't be so wrong. The foldable phones are kinda in a similar situation right now and I'm positive this will become the norm. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.